Hello guys and welcome back to the channel with another video. So today I'm gonna go through Quant. Uh, it's no secret that Quant is a project that is poised to attract serious attention and a multi-billion dollar market cap during the next bull cycle. So let's first of all figure out what Quant is and at the end of the video we'll do the price prediction and I can tell you for sure that you will be surprised with what you'll hear. So hit the like in advance, subscribe to the channel because uh, most of the people are still watching without a subscription and let's get started. So Quant is a proprietary asset of the Quant network. It is an ERC20 token. Uh, Quantum Network is an open source communication protocol that allows businesses and developers to connect and interact with different DLT, distributed ledger technology and blockchain simultaneously. Quant Network was founded in 2015 by Gilbert Verdian. Before founding Quant, Gilbert had a successful career in cybersecurity with lots of top companies such as PwC, HSBC, HM Treasury and etc. His career path is impressive. After that, Gilbert moved to the public sector and worked at the Bank of England as well as the US Federal Reserve System, again dealing with security issues and secure payments. Gilbert also participated in the development of the so-called ISO TC307, the International Standard for Blockchain and Distributed Ledger Technologies, which are still used by countries around the world to develop their own projects in the field of blockchain and DLT. The founding father of Quant also literally wrote the book about blockchain and cybersecurity for most of the world. Currently one of the holy grails of cryptocurrencies is inter reparability. Basically, it refers to the ability to exchange and work in different blockchain ecosystems. Many projects have developed solutions for this. There are different levels, for example, Polkadot and Cosmos are considered level zero, which ensures interaction of all first levels built on them. Chainlink has a cross-chain protocol or CCIP. Torchain has been working on this issue for many years as well, and so on and so forth. And Quantum Network solution for ensuring interoperability called the Overledger platform. This platform was officially released just recently in June 27 and it has already attracted a lot of attention. In his statement Gilbert said, we launched over Ledger platform. It makes the same enterprise grade technology that has underpinned our projects with institutional and central bank customers to date accessible to large enterprises, SMEs and developers for the first time. There is a lot more interesting in this project but in simple terms the launch of this platform opens access to the same technology which is used by the Bank of England and the Bank for International Settlement and this opens a new gate to the holy grail of blockchain interoperability. I don't know about you, but that definitely sounds bullish to me. So hit a like if you enjoyed the video and let's move on. Obviously Quant has a plethora of important partnerships, but I just want to talk about two in particular. The first one that stands out to me is CNET and CA Chain, and these are existing financial infrastructures that already have access to over 570 banks and financial institutions. And since they're partnered with Quant, they have access to the Overledger, which unlocks that interaction that connects them to so many distributed ledgers, blockchains and banks. It's not just about communication between blockchains, it's about communication with everything. And the other partnership in my opinion the more impressive one is with Hyperledger. Hyperledger is an open source project focused on developing enterprise grade blockchain frameworks, tools and libraries. Some of you may know that it's hosted by the Linux Foundation. Another thing you might not know is that half of the Forbes blockchain 50 companies use Hyperledger. So let's see what the future holds for Quant. During the last cycle Quant peaked at $427 approximately almost two years ago. Since then Quant has fallen about 74% and found support around $100 price level and it is almost right there today at around $92. And despite the market downturn Quant is enjoying unusually high levels levels of enthusiasm from the community. And we have another thing that really attracts me and which we haven't yet discussed is its tokenomics. The current circulating supply of Quant is around 12 million of coins, 81%, and the maximum supply is 14.6 million, less than bitcoins. We also don't have an official unlock schedule, going to assume that the supply will not change, but with 81% of coins in circulation, Quant doesn't have the same issues regarding inflation or huge unlocks that tend to depress the price of other projects. Very bullish tokenomics for sure. And as I said, now Quant 
Quant is currently trading at about $92. We all have mixed opinions on how high Quant is going to reach. So again, I've got conservative targets, but I've also got my moonshot targets, guys. Uh, so I wanted to break down the reasons as to why Quant can hit these uh, different levels and whether or not it's realistic to say Quant is going to 10,000 or more. So number one question we need to think is how much money will be poured into the whole crypto market next time. Then you guys need to ask the question what was the all-time high of the crypto market cap in the last bull run? And the answer is 2.9 trillion. It was nearly 3 trillion of dollars. We were so close. So this 2.9 trillion is still nothing in comparison to same total market cap of gold. So we have got some room to grow. I assume 6 to, to max 10x from the current market cap is realistic in my opinion. We're probably not gonna get 15 trillion market cap and we're not gonna get 30 trillion market cap yet. Okay, I could be wrong of course, it might happen closer to 2030, but realistically most likely from 6 to 10, maybe closer to 7 trillion market cap is going to be fantastic. One of the reasons why I'm bullish on the whole cryptocurrency market because of the supply shock. People aren't selling their bitcoins anymore and this is very similar to quant. People aren't selling their quants. So what does this mean for quant? If the total cryptocurrency market cap does a 5x, we can assume that the total quant market cap will also 5x as well. And again, like I said, with money flow, some cryptocurrencies are going to weigh more than 5x. They're going to do 10x, 20, 50, and we're here for a safe play with quant. The all-time high for quant was 4 billions. Can it reach a 40 billion market cap? Guys, Ethereum is currently at a 200 billion market cap in a bear market. So we need only 20% of that money flow to run into quant in the bull market. So remember, the equation for price predictions is market cap divided by circulating supply. So we established the supply, which has been the same for years. Actually, it was the same supply for the last bull run. So like I said, when Quant hit its all-time high of $427, its market cap was a little bit over $4.8 billion at that time. Since the supply isn't changing, the only thing that is going to change for the coming bull run is the market cap. So how high can Quant's market cap can go? If we 3x the previous market cap from the last all-time high, that would be about $13.8 billion market cap and that would give us around $1,100 to $1,200 per Quant. And it's around 10x from now. That's cool. But to be completely honest with you guys, when I think about all of the utility with this coin, how it's going to change the game, the global cross-border payment system, it's working with the Bank of England to make a CBDC. It is the road that is connecting the dots of all other blockchains in existence. This coin could change the game definitely. And I might be shooting for the stars just a little bit on this one. So for my official price prediction for the top of the next bull run for Quant, I'm thinking somewhere minimum between 15 to 16 with the market cap of 19.9 .9 billion. So just compare it with Solana's success during the last cycle or ADA's growth. And like I said, this coin could go much higher than that. I'm just trying to be somewhat realistic and conservative. But remember guys, if Quant had Bitcoin's market cap, we're looking at $43,000 per coin. It's absolutely ridiculous, but I think it's possible. So that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you found something useful. Hit a like, leave a comment what you think about Quants, and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you.